Well, Senior Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Sim An, says Singapore's foreign policy is driven by principles and not a quest for balance. She adds that the space available to the nation depends not on its ability to perform a balancing act, but whether any basis for cooperation remains between major powers. Singapore will also do its utmost to broaden the basis of international cooperation. Ms. Sim shared that a communications and information ministry poll in July 2022 showed almost 90% of Singapore felt that the government should always act in the country's best interests and not take sides between the US and China. As such, Ms. Sim points out that Singapore-China and Singapore-US relations were not built on the basis of Singapore unilaterally maintaining a balancing act. Rather, these bilateral relations reflect decades of substantive win-win collaboration. In the case of China, Singapore has supported the country's continued reform and opening up and participated in its development journey over the years. Singapore is one of China's top investors and China is Singapore's biggest trading partner in goods. Ms. Sim says many would think of the role played by the Chinese community in Singapore when Singapore-China relations are discussed. That's why she explains that Singapore's ethnic Chinese majority population may have ties of culture and kinship with China. However, she warned against interpreting Singapore-China relations from a cultural perspective, which may result in a skewed view or misunderstandings. Singaporeans Yeung 也鼓励国人传承并发扬各自族群文化,包括华族文化。